Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. Guys, today I create really new and cool text animation with using Ronnie Fracture tool. So firstly guys, I go to Move Graph and use More Text. Go to Object and type. Guys, I type my YouTube channel name. And Alignment, take Middle. Right? And change Font. Font change, use like this, yeah, this is better and decrease this spacing, go to vertical spacing decrease, like this and vertical spacing little bit change, yeah, that's better and I increase depth, depth I take like 50 centimeter, right, go to display, select God shading lines, yes, and I go to caps. I start caps, take fillet caps, and caps take fillet, and change this tab like 5 and radius. I take 3. Same step, I take 5 and radius take 3. Right? And lastly, create single object check. That's it, guys. And now, guys, again I go to bow graph, and this time I use Ronnie Fracture. So select this more text and make child with Ronnie Fracture tool, right? See guys, this is my simple, but guys, I change this Ronnie Fracture pattern. So I take cube, guys, I create slices effect. So increase size like this, right? And segments, I take 100. See guys, right? It's so easy. And now, guys, select this Brawny Fracture and go to Source. Select this cube, drag and drop in Source. And hide this point generate distribution. Yeah, see. And guys, you can hide this cube, hide and hide on render. See guys, this is my pattern, right? Guys, you can change this line. So select this cube and little bit rotate. Rotate. This is my rotation like 30. Yes. See guys. Right. And now guys, I apply my Cinema 4D Studio Light. So go to File and Merge. Select this is my Cinema 4D Studio Light and open. Flow and background, little bit down, like this, right? And after that, guys, I apply a random effector tool. So select this Ronnie fracture, go to more graph effector and use random here. Guys, select this random and I go to fall off shape and I take liner. And orientation, I take plus X. Yes. Right? Okay. Now, guys, I increase size. First size, I take like randomly 200 centimeter. And I go to parameter. Position, I increase like 100, 100, and 100. Yes. Good. And guys, also change rotation go on rotation and rotation randomly guys 180 180 and 180 create bunching effect yeah that's great right so guys increase frame like 400 and go on full and second effector guys i apply plane so Actually, go again, I go to random and chord. This is my position. All position take zero, right? And now apply plane. Guys, same, select this plane and fall off shape. I take liner and orientation plus X. And guys, this time size increase like this time to 50 randomly and parameter position guys uncheck i select only scale tool 
and ununiform scale check and scale size I take minus 1 yes right so I select this plane and again I go to chord all position take 0 right and now I take group so guys select this all effector and make child with group right so guys select this group this is my animation right okay now guys I go to 100 frames go on here here and press this animation key right guys select group and go on here and press this animation key go to last 400 frames and select group go on here and press this animation key right it's so easy guys so play yes great right okay now guys I apply rigid body tag on Rodney fracture so select this Rodney fracture tool right click simulation and use rigid body tag and I go to dynamic trigger use at velocity peak and go to collision guys bounce I take like 10 and friction 50 right go on back and play yeah see guys okay guys also apply collider tag on this flow so unfold this flow and background select flow and right click collider body yes go on back and play see guys now this is my final animation great right guys you can change little bit gravity so you can go to mode and project and I go to dynamic gravity gravity I take like 500 go on back and play yeah great right okay now guys I apply material go to create and load material select and open guys go to Rodney fracture source actually this time I go to object and colorize fragments uncheck and go to here selections inside face check outside face check and guys apply this material and yellow material yes and guys this is my outside face outside is here and apply this is my inside apply yeah right great that's really good guys okay lastly select this plane and guys little bit back little bit position little bit like position select chord and position like minus 150 and again go on back and play yes that's really better right guys one more time great I really love this animation guys okay and now guys I create camera movement animation select camera go to zero frame camera angle like this on zero frame press this animation key and I go to 100 frames 100 
and camera angle like this and press this animation key and I go to like 300 frames and camera here and press this animation key right so go on play see guys right it's really good yeah great okay guys my animation is finished so go to render setting i take full hd frame this one all and t select best and guys this is my save file path i take jpeg sequences go on desktop and take file name guys md occlusion and global illumination that's it so close and render so guys this my simple small tutorial is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you